Hi, I'm gonna show you how to use the original turbo decoder key profile HU100 for Opel and Chevrolet automobiles door and ignition locks. Inside of this transport box you will discover our trademark product certificate of that setup devices to reset your pins and turbo decoder. The turbo decoder has a key blade exactly with that H uh, 100 key profile. It has a hologram with our company logo, serial number, tension wheel, pin access wheel, pump wheel with the serial number again, model and our websites. The pins of these two are ready for for action. This is a key blade, this is pin access bar to insert and extract the tool and this is the pump bar and here we have indication for the stop points. When we have the lock mounted like this, I will test one open lock for you. This is a key profile. When the pins are ready, and I will show you how to make them ready after the opening, you have to insert the tool into the lock and discover the orientation. Just push forward, rotate to the right the back wheel, keep the tool on the middle ring and gently insert it all the way into the lock. You touch the bottom of the lock and now from here pull back, uh, push forward the handle. If you see this movement, it means that the tool is not correctly inserted. You have to rotate it. Click like this, extract, reverse, again keep it in the middle and insert. Touch the bottom of the lock and check again. If nothing happened, that is the position and orientation for that lock correctly. Two fingers here, pull back that middle ring. You see stop points, one, two and three. During the procedure I'm gonna show you, you have to follow those stop points exactly as you see on that video in order to apply the correct procedure. Tension on the front wheel to the right, start to take the back wheel to the left till the line come to the first number. One, line to one. Turn back, loose, check. Tension to the other side, one again, turn back, check. Now you have to repeat the same, the same, the same for next 20 times. Every time stop at one. Pay attention on your tension force. If you tension too much, the lock will turn without opening because of the protection, force protection. So the tension force you have to apply must be a little bit less than the engagement of that uh, of that clutch or tension uh, protective, protective, protective mechanism. And don't forget, stop at one for next 20 stops. Check one, turn back and check one, turn back and check. When you finish those 20 stops at one, if the lock is not open, you have to increase the rotation of the back wheel and point the line to the second stop sector. Now you have to repeat that second stop sector for another 20 times. By doing that in progressive way, one, then two, then three, 20 on each number, you don't stress the two, that is the first, and you don't risk to over pump the pins and to lose the opening. Just patiently follow the steps. 
you see the lock turn now smoothly like a key uh, but if you fail to open it at the second stop point you can increase the rotation and stop at 3 for 10-15 pumps if you fail also there extract reset the tool and try again okay this is the door lock if you extract the tool to do that just turn to the right stay in neutral lock position and push to the front this wheel now you are able to extract the tool only in that condition this is the, the ignition lock if you didn't reset the tool from the door you can turn the ignition it's matter to discover the orientation only again insert from here push forward if nothing happened you are okay and you have a key also for this because the tool remember the code of the lock door lock and that is or you can also directly manipulate the ignition I will show you if the lock is door lock is damaged you just come here and try the ignition directly but the reset procedure look how to reset your tool to reset the tool you need only the specific HU100 calibrated device push forward come to the right and only here at the holes at the side you're allowed to insert that needle and push it finger here to avoid bendings go in the hole and push the shoulder of the device will stop and that is the start position of the pins all eight pins must be pushed in this way to be in the start position pull back see your pins all in line of the start insert the tool all the way into the ignition check if you see this not correctly extract reverse insert again check nothing happened pull back now apply attention to the right because the ignition stood to the right only and repeat the same story one one for next 20 stops stop at one every time the lock turn and now to extract the tool come here go right push and extract pull back come to one and you can see how the pins have changed their dips look this one is too deep this is high 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 thanks to the reference lines along the keyblade you can read the code you just have to remember that the first line indicate the second cut that position is a start position cut number one second is on the first line 13 on the second line fourth deep is on the third line and also here we can see the code diagram you can write these uh, numbers on your book and then make a mechanical key the professionals know how to read and how to insert the code this is everything about H100 easy device just follow the steps thank you for watching